What's up, bitch? Hey, witch. Well, hello again, everyone. All right, let's jump into it, shall we? First, we are gonna block our eyebrows by using some Elmer's glue. Yes, honey, start coating those brows. Next, we're gonna take a spoolie and we are going to start combing and brushing those little individual hairs upward. Also, another tip, make sure that you are using a spoolie that you can just dispose of because it will get dirty from the glue. Also, I am going to be doing the same thing that I did to my brows to my sideburns because I am, in fact, a man. And we need to get rid of those ASAP, honey. We can't have those, okay? All right, make sure to also take a little break, you know, and whip yourself up a good old potion, honey. Yes, take it to the head. Now I am going to be setting all of that glue with some um, powder. I like to use air spun. Coat those brows, honey, in that powder. Drown them, also the sideburns. And that will set everything in place. Next, I am gonna take a flat brush and we're gonna dive into the Revolution Pride Face Paint Palette and we're gonna use the orange shade. This will cancel out all of the dark undertone of my eyebrow hair. Next, you are going to want to, again, set that face paint with a eyeshadow. And I grabbed this little guy today. It is a orange palette from ColourPop, which works out perfectly, just, you know, diving into a bunch of different shades. And I am going to use that to lock in the orange face paint. Alrighty, now it is officially time. We are going to be using the Mayron face paint palette and we are going to drown my face in green. Don't forget the throat. Keep in mind that this is a water-based face paint palette. So I like to use padding motion. This really helps build up the saturation the best to me. Next, we're gonna use the James Charles Morphe eyeshadow palette. And I'm gonna use the green eyeshadow to lock in the face paint. Next, I am using the dark green shade from the palette to start contouring my face. Because right now we're looking a little flat, honey. All right, now I am going to use, again, my air spun powder and we are going to start placing it in the highlighted areas of my face to start the baking process. Diving into the black eyeshadow, we're going to use this to start the eye transformation. Yes, honey, I definitely wanted to try to do a different shape than I've ever done before on my channel, and this is how it turned out. Loves it. All right, diving into the P. Louise base, I'm using a flat brush to cut that crease. Next, I am going to use a purple eyeshadow to introduce a different color into the mix of things, and I love how purple and green looks together. So pretty. All right, diving into my heavy metal liquid shimmer. This stuff is amazing, you guys. It is so sparkly and it looks amazing. We are doing full drag, yes. Also, taking that black eyeshadow, I am using it as eyeliner for under my eyes. Whipping on an eyelash, of course, and this is where things got a little bit messy, you guys. We had a bit of a mistake happen. Um, one of the eyelashes got in my eye and it made my eye water and of course we use water-based face paint so there was a mistake so we have no choice but to cover it up so I'm whipping on some more lashes onto the bottom and we are going to start um, covering that up. So now I'm going to dive into the Alexa Stone eyeshadow palette. I love this palette, it's so pretty. Um, and I am going to use the red to 
place into the crease as well. Now I am using some crystals and some eyelash glue and placing the crystals randomly under my eye to kind of camouflage that mistake that happened. And I'm not mad at it, hey. Now I'm using a dark green metallic and we're gonna use that to highlight my face. Hey, even witches have to glow, sweetie. Now I am outlining my lips in a black liner and we are going to then fill it in with, of course, a red lipstick. Now this really ties in the whole look together from the red eyeshadow to the red lips. I love it, yes. Now since my arms are going to be showing in hands, I am diving into that face paint palette again and coating my hands and arms in green. Don't forget to set your hands and arms with powder so it won't rub off. And that completes this look. it up for the Wicked Witch of the West. How are we feeling? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm living for it. Yes, it's very Wicked Witch of the West meets drag and I am living for it. Honey, I'm ready to hop onto my broomstick and terrorize the munchkins. You feel me? All right, so it is time though to move on to the next Halloween look. So let's jump right on into it, shall we? Well, hello again. All right, it is time to get glammed for the prom. So let's get a little bit closer. All righty, yes, honey. All right, starting things off, we are gonna use the Porefessional Primer by Benefit, and I'm gonna slap it all over my face. Next, I'm using the Juvia's Place Foundation. This stuff is full coverage, it is incredible, and I don't want to see a single flaw in my skin. All right, I am also going to use Tarte Shape Tape to conceal my face. Next up, we are going to dive into the Revolution Pro Conceal Kit. These are cream contours, and I'm gonna dive into a couple of different shades and create my own little mixture, and we are going to start chiseling the face. Using a beauty blender to buff and blend it out. Now diving into the Revolution Powder Contour Kit, we are gonna use that to set those cream contours that we just did. Now I am going to start the baking process, of course using my airspun powder. Now I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette, and I'm gonna use that to fill in my brows. It creates the perfect shade that will match my wig. Now I'm using the Juvia's Place Concealer with a flat brush and I'm going to start carving out my eyebrows and also using it as a base for my eyeshadows. Now I'm diving into the Mini Controversy Palette and we are going to use Diet Root Beer to start creating a new crease using some more concealer just to clean up that brown eyeshadow. And now I am going to dive back into Mini Controversy and we're gonna use the blue shade to fill in the overall lid. Bringing it below my eye as well. 
Next, I'm using a little bit more concealer. I'm just bringing it just to the center of my eyelid. I'm then diving into the Cremated palette and we are going to use the White Shimmery Shade to place into the center of the crease. Next, I'm using the darker shade of blue from the James Charles Morphe palette. And I'm gonna use that to deepen that blue area of the crease. Next, I'm using a black liquid liner and we are going to line the eyes. Now I'm gonna use some blush to whip on to my cheeks. Keep in mind that I am going for a more 80s style prom look, so don't, don't be afraid to go heavy on the blush, darling. Okay, now I'm using a highlighter from that same contour palette by Revolution, and we are going to start highlighting the areas of my face. Diving back into some more of that liquid eyeliner, we are going to now start the fun part, which is the tears. The messier, the better. So don't be afraid, just whip it on. Now taking the black from the James Charles palette, I'm going to start smudging um, the areas that I just painted on just to give it a little bit more of a realistic look. Now I'm using a MAC lipstick. Slap it onto the lips. And I'm also going to be using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics um, from the Bloodlust line. And we are going to use that lighter shade just to sort of ombre my lips. Make them look a little bit more 3D and bigger. The bigger the better. Using a brush to of course fade that out. I am also using a Jeffree Star lip gloss just to make the lips look nice and wet. Using some mascara, we're gonna use that to coat my lashes. Your lashes always need a good coat before you place on your false eyelashes. Now I cut my lashes in half and I'm just placing it to the far ends of my eyes. Then I decided that I wanted to go in with a red lipstick and use it to outline my lips. Alright, and now it is time for the best part of this whole makeup look, and that is of course the blood, because since this whole look is inspired by Carrie, um, we have to use blood, honey. But before I use that, I'm going to use a little bit of red face paint just to hand draw some blood drips just to the face area. Now diving into that vampire blood, we are gonna start <laughs> whipping it all over my hair. And I highly recommend being somewhere that you don't care about it getting on the floor or all over you because this stuff is very messy and it's actually very cold. I was freezing, but it's so worth it. Um, and that completes this look. It is time to see who they crown for prom queen this year. Let's find out. <laughs> Honey, I'm back from the prom and 
Let's just say a few people got upset at their choice in prom queen this year. <laughs> Pig's blood is no biggie to me, honey. I drink it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All right, so how are we feeling? I think this turned out so fun. I love it. Very Carrie inspired, if you will, bloody prom queen. Oh, I definitely think you guys should try it out one year. This is so simple. Oh, girl. Anyway, it is time to move on though to the next Halloween look for 2020. What do I have up my sleeve next? Well, let's find out, shall we? Well, long time no see, am I right? All right, it's time to dive into the half red riding hood, half werewolf. So let's begin. All right, first, diving into my brow dip, it is time to create that new feminine arched eyebrow. And as you can see, I have already gone ahead and I've done my foundation and my contour and highlighting off camera just to save us some time, honey. Next, diving into the cremated palette, I'm going to dive into that matte white shade and I'm gonna throw it all over my lid as a base. Next up, I'm using the white metallic shade and I am just placing that with my finger right below the brow bone and also placing it into my inner corner. Yes. All right, now diving into the Jaclyn Hill palette. We are going to be using just the brown shades, the dark brown shades, I might add, to create the new winged out crease. And also excuse the bloody mess in the background and on my shirt, <laughs> just got done eating dinner. All right, let's speed things up. Next up, taking a clean brush and I'm just using patting motion just to clean up that line and give it a little bit more of an airbrushed look. Next, I am diving into the shade The Morgue from that cremated palette and I am whipping it all over half of the lid, keeping away from that inner corner. Next, taking a little bit of that white from cremated and I'm just blending the two together. Taking a few of the metallic shades from Cremated. I'm just whipping it all over the lid using my finger. I've learned that my finger works really, really well when it comes to these metallic shades. Yes. Next up, taking a little bit of that black liquid lighter and I want to give myself a little bit more of a cat eye look. I mean, hey, the other side of my face is going to be a wolf. So we have to make my eye look a little bit more cat-like. Don't you agree? Hey. Next, I am going to use my 301 drag lashes and I'm just using my hot breath <laughs> to help the glue dry quicker and then placing it onto my eye, voila. Next, using a plum lipstick shade, I'm taking a little brush and I'm going to use this as my liner. Just keeping it to the red riding hood side, of course and then filling it in with a red lipstick. This is a red lipstick by House Laboratories. You know I love Gaga. And we're going to be, I've used this red lipstick so many times. I love it. That completes the Red Riding Hood side. Time to get to the wolf. Taking a little bit of water and my little tiny brush, we're gonna start on my eyebrows. The eyebrows have already been glued down with Elmer's glue to my forehead, nice, nice and flat. Now I'm going to use streaking motions just to create a more bushy eyebrow look. Next, diving into the white from the Mehron face paint palette, and I'm gonna whip that all over the wolf side of my face. Next, taking some brown, and I'm just whipping it all over the contour areas of the wolf side of the face, and I'm using streaking motions just to create that fur texture, that fur look. Now taking that same little brush, we're gonna start using um, the browns of the palette and 
we're gonna start using it to create that furry look. The messier the better. This does not have to be perfect. Um, now taking the black and doing the exact same thing, we're building up the fur effect. First starting off with brown and then working to black. And this side of the face was actually easier than the Red Riding Hood side of the face, if you can believe it. Doing the Red Riding Hood eye was harder than all of this. This is actually pretty easy, I'm not gonna lie, um, because of the fact that it can be messier. Now I'm doing the eye, filling it in with brown and black, winging it out a little bit, diving into the white, um, just perfecting it even more, creating more texture onto that face. Um, using little dots and streaking it around. Now diving into the black again, we are going to start on the nose for the wolf. I'm bringing it down to my lip, creating that cat look. Filling in the lip with black, just to the wolf side, and then fanning it out a little bit. This will help create a, a, even more illusion of a cat. Whipping on a little bit of a lash. And bam. Now, taking a little bit of that black liquid lipstick by NYX. I'm just tapping it onto my lips just to set that face paint. Now I want it to create some bloody uh, scratch marks just to the Red Riding Hood side as if the wolf had attacked me and scratched me. Um, so yeah, I'm just diving into red face paint and just making it real messy. Using a red eyeshadow, I'm just kind of dabbing it onto the area just to make it look irritated and flustered. <laughs> Again, taking that vampire fake blood and just placing it right on top of the scratch marks just to make it look even more realistic. And that completes the makeup look. half werewolf, half Red Riding Hood look is complete. How are we feeling? I am shocked right now. Now this took a while off camera to get this all together. I've got like 10,000 pins sticking into me to hold all of this together. But honey, I definitely think it's worth it. Um, I love how it turned out. It turned out so much better than what I thought. But yes, definitely pause the video right now and let me know which look is your favorite thus far. But with that being said, we have one more look to do for Halloween 2020. So I'm exhausted, but let's just dive on into it, shall we? All right, I'm off to grandma's house. Here we go. All right, everyone, it is officially time to create the final Halloween transformation for Halloween 2020. All right, and I have decided to do a very glamorous red devil look. So, of course, first things first, we have to paint ourselves red. Now, we're basically doing the same thing that we did with the Wicked Witch look, except for we are going to be painting me red. Avi. All right, and after slapping on that red, I'm diving into the Mayron palette. Of course, we've used it this whole entire video. Um, now I'm diving into the white shade and I am starting to highlight the areas of my face. If you guys are doing any Halloween transformations when it comes to makeup, I definitely highly recommend grabbing the Mayron face paint palette. I will put it in the uh, Dropbox down below for you guys. You can get it from Amazon. Now dipping back into the Alexis Stone 
eyeshadow palette. I'm using the red shade to, of course, set all of that red face paint. I am also going to be taking just a little bit of black eyeshadow from that palette, and I'm using that to contour my face. <laughs> Dipping into the light pink shade from the palette, I'm using that to set the highlighted areas. We're basically just setting all of our face paints with eyeshadows. Time to slap on some eyebrows. Now listen, this was very stressful and I wanted to make them look very evil and creepy so they're bushy at the front and then they wing upwards very thin like. I think it creates that very devil look and I am using a black face paint. To make the eyebrows stand out even more, I'm just taking a little bit of white face paint and popping it right under the brow. Taking some black liquid liner, I am now trying to create a design on <laughs> on either eye and it was so difficult it was I was so stressed um, it's very hard to get each eye very symmetrical um, and there's no right or wrong way of doing this you can create any design at this point with the makeup look um, but I love how it turned out it almost created like very dark evil looking mountains and also a little tree um, you'll see it sooner when I zoom in later on in the video what I'm talking about. After popping on some beauty marks onto my face, I am now going into that white face paint again and I'm just placing it randomly on the eye look just to give it a more 3D illusion, if you will. Now taking a little bit of red eyeshadow and a, just a touch of black, I am contouring my nose. Now I'm doing my steps a little bit randomly for this look, I noticed, um, but at this point, girl, I was exhausted from doing all of these looks. Diving into the Ooh La La ColourPop eyeshadow palette, I am using the pink metallic shades as highlighters because even the devil himself wants that glow from within. Next up, lining my lips with a black eyeliner. And of course, I am grabbing, again, a red lipstick, and I'm using that just to the center of the lips. I am then going to grab a Jeffree Star black lip gloss and just placing it right onto the black areas. Then taking a small little brush, I am diving back into that black face paint and I'm kind of just taking the corners of my lips and kind of fanning it upwards into a little line on either side. Time for some falsies, grabbing some fake eyelashes and some tweezers. It's time to pop those babies on and I even cut a little bit off of some other pieces and I'm placing that just to the bottom of the eyes. Dipping back into that darker shade of red from the Alexis Stone palette, I'm going to start working on my throat area. I want it to create a more skeleton effect, more bony looking, so I'm just using those eyeshadows like I did with my face onto my throat to create that illusion. Taking some more of that black face paint, I am now creating some designs randomly onto my forehead area because I felt like it was a little bit empty in that space. Um, I am also taking some black lipstick and I am drawing some blood drips from my mouth. Now is the time you can see zoomed in how the eye look reminded me of some dark creepy mountains and a little tree and also the red little crystals that I placed in my eye area almost acts as a moon. And I love how it turned out. See how mistakes can also turn out to be awesome in the end. <laughs> Taking some more black paint, I am now going to create that uh, very Dracula hairline, if you will. We love painting on a new hairline. Am I right, ladies? Also taking the paint, I am now going to try to cover all of my blonde hair. <laughs> Time for some sparkle. Grabbing some red glitter and I am placing it just to my chest area. Baseline. 
I am also going to paint my hands red and popping on some black fake nails. And that completes the makeup look. And that completes the Red Devil makeup look. How are we feeling? Oh my gosh, you guys. That also wraps it up for my 2020 Halloween special. Yes! I hope you guys enjoyed each and every single makeup look that I did. Leave a comment down below and please let me know which one was your favorite. I would love to know. If you enjoyed, of course, give the video a big old thumbs up. It helps me out. Leave me a comment down below, like I mentioned earlier, and follow me on all of my social media links. And also, don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon to get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Yes, girl. Also, I have to mention it. We have been on YouTube for one whole year. Yes! This is our one year anniversary. We've come a long way, honey, since last Halloween when I uploaded that KISS rock and roll video. All right, you guys, I will see you on the next one. But before that, remember to always stay sharp. Mwah. Bye. I'm melting, I'm melting. Oh, what a world, what a world. You stupid bitch, you killed me. You killed me. Sure. Sure.